Hello and welcome to A Valley Without Wind 2. We're Let's Playing and this is Kelderan. Now, A Valley Without Wind 2 is, uh, as you can probably guess, a sequel to the original A Valley Without Wind. And I almost hesitate to call it a sequel. It's almost more a reimagining or a spiritual sequel. The gameplay is very different and it takes place in the same world. And there might even be some reference to the uh, original game, but it's very much... What if we took this game and sort of uh, made it congeal a bit more? The original Valley Without Wind had some really great ideas, and honestly, Arson Games, all of their games have great ideas. Uh, the other one they're really well known for is AI Wars Fleet Commander, and you can get this and all of their other games on Steam. Fabulous game, really deep, um, very, very, very fun with other players, but you're looking at spending a Civilizations 3 esque amount of time playing this game with multiple players. It's only co-op, so it's great to bring to a LAN and everyone's helping each other out. But uh, the problem is you're looking at spending multiple, multiple, multiple hours with other people playing the game. So, A Valley Without Wind is a platformer that has some really cool metagame things going on. A Valley Without Wind 2 brings those metagame things a little bit closer to everything else, uh, simplifies it enough to make it a bit more coherent and playable, and it's a whole lot of fun. I haven't played more than maybe 10 minutes of it, so let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to play a new game. We are going to create a new world. We're going to call it Kelderon. And we're, we're adept in kind of rooks, right? We're like the little castle pieces. Okay, Kelderon. And we get to choose a character. <laughs> I want this man's jumpsuit so badly. Uh, all the artwork and all the music is fabulous in the game. It's definitely not... Uh, what's the word? Conventional? Um, and it has a really big indie feel, and that's sort of the charm of it for me. So, oh, we can reroll. We can just keep getting new people. So, Adam looks pretty average. So, hearts are roughly what your health is. Uh, attack is pretty obvious. And ammo is the equivalent of magic, I think. And since I'm really new at the game, I'd rather pick someone a bit more well-balanced and not uh, balanced one way or another, lest I get my butt kicked. Profile name, Kelderan. Character's name, Adam Dudmowski. Let's enter the world. Oh, nice. Okay, so these change as you play through the game. But for now, oh, it's kind of like cutting off right there. I feel like my screen resolution is all derped up. So you get to choose a magic class. So everything in the game is magic as far as your character is concerned. You're all mages. And uh, this determines what your special abilities are. So we can choose ice, water, plants, lava, or rocks. I'm going to go for ice. That gives us ice drone, which fires a projectile that is affected by movement you make after you fire it. That sounds really cool. Uh, ice whip, which is a little short range, icy whack whack attack. We have ice fusillade, which is rapid, not accurate. And okay, so it's just sort of scatter shot. And magnetic ice, a long-lived projectile that you can swing around yourself. That's hilarious! Oh, it's going to be like playing Terraria all over again. Alright, remember this is a beta, so this is not finished work. If you're playing this uh, sometime later in 2013 or beyond, chances are this is going to look a lot different or uh, otherwise. So, Demona, uh, Demonica says... I see that Fonzara has trained you well. Lilith approves as well. You are ready to become the sixth member of my inner circle. It must be a very bad inner circle. They're all so angry and mean. Uh, thank you, Doc One. Oh, why Why is Dude Mouski so, so evil and mean? We want him to be happy and good. You've shown yourself willing to punish the unworthy without remorse. Yeah, I punch kittens, like, all day er day. Uh, there are few enough like you to follow me. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah... Sure, buddy. I therefore entrust you with this oblivion crystal. It will protect you from death, as it protects myself and the rest of my closest big buddies. It is a tremendous power to weld. Wield? Wield. Yes, but you, of all people, should know that there are things worse than death, like being tickled incessantly for months. We'll just pretend that's what I said. Hmm, go to your quarters now and await Wardrak summons. You will join him in searching for more worthy candidates. Okay, buddy, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go do things you want me to do. Like, fi Oh, that's neat. Uh, oh, oh, I see. I can, like, pull it back and forth, I guess. That's bizarre. Uh, and then there's this one. 
It's like a machine gun. Alright, so he wants us to go to our quarters. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking that would be silly. And he's a silly guy. Ooh, here lies the orc Morkalala Forkalala, who never did learn how to climb down ladders by pressing the down key. Oh, I learned. Alright, so we enter here. That's how the game, uh, the original one, taught you as well as little cute poems and signs. Press down when jumping to aim down. Press up to aim up so I can shoot up, shoot down, shoot left, shoot right, and <laughs> shoot wiggity wap snappy things. Wiggity wap. Uh, Alright, and uh, down while standing to do a low shot. I like this guy. He ducks like he's in a rock concert. He's like, yeah, girl, I'm gonna sing with my mic and my guitar. Uh, oh yeah, more reading. Uh, to aim and angle, simply hold both directions. Whack, whack. <laughs> oh, I'm like the worst Yoshi ever. I just throw eggs. All right, what is this all about? Just a window or something? I don't know. Yay. Uh, that's those are scary looking. I'm not gonna play with them. Whoop. Oh, it got me. Oh, something else got me. <laughs> I only have 2.9 hearts left. That is the most bitchin' 2 I have ever seen. Look at that thing. Alright. I assume I'm going to my quarters? Maybe not. Oh, what is that? Can I shoot it? Oh, can I shoot that, please? Oh, no. Hey, who's this person? Uh, Juan says, all this trouble and toil for all of us. So many sacrifices, and you pulled it off. Yeah, you can always depend on me to punch kittens. It's, uh, it's the cool thing to do, right? Uh, Gonnet says, for once a plan has come off properly. I can hardly believe it. Never mind all those who died. <laughs> who cares that people died? I, I wasn't keeping count. Were you keeping count? I wasn't keeping count. All right, uh, you've got the crystal. We've blown a hole in the tower. It's time to go. We did. <laughs> I feel like there's a missing cutscene here. Alright, so uh, apparently we blew a hole in the tower. And we're being cool. Oh, it's Cyrek! Cyrek's bowing like, yeah, I know I'm badass. See this nose? Nose of... Oh! Sui! Sui wing! <laughs> He's talking to Silent. He just really doesn't want... Oh, here we go. All this pain and suffering, endured by you, and even caused by you during your training. It's what we know had to happen for us to get our hands on one of the crystals. So, okay, apparently I punched a whole lot of kittens to make the bad guys give me a crystal. And then all these good guys are congratulating me for punching kittens so convincingly. Uh, the resistance could never have properly got off the ground when our enemies were immortal, and we weren't. Now that you've got their power, we can smash them. So I have the power of Hulk, and I'm falling, I'm gonna die, oh god. Oh, oh no. Alright, so this game taught me a lesson. <laughs> Thanks, Sequelitis by uh, Ego Raptor. You taught me a lesson. You can fall from just about anywhere and not die. No, I don't have to fear. Alright, so we're still going through this, whatever, no, oh, no, fall it again. Less falling. Neat. What's this? That's a, the door thing? Oh, neat. Welcome to the armory. Here you can refill ammo, change your mage class, and practice using your spells on a patented regenerative tree of evil. I love it! <laughs> I just want to kill this tree for ages. You're the best tree. Alright, so that does extremely variable damage. That does hilarious damage. What about this? That doesn't have any ammo. Refill ammo. Oh, neat. It's like a... Oh, what? Oh, that's... <laughs> I love it. I should call it my squishy. It shall be my squishy. Keep killing the tree of evil. Alright. So, we can refill here, and I guess... Oh, that's my pickup. I was like, do I have a punch action now? Why would I punch things with my... My squishy. Alright. So that refills my ammo. It looks like this is the only attack that uses ammo. All the other ones don't. Ah, it's so cool. Alright, um... I can change my mage class too, but I don't really know how I'm supposed to do that. Uh, this signpost lets you change perks. Oh, look at that. So, this perk looks like happy mind face, and this perk looks like happy feet feet. Um, I'll choose the happy feet feet. Okay, so that's movement speed. That is special attack strength. You know what? Movement speed. We don't have to buy a horse later on. 
And here we can change our mage class. I'm not nearly coherent enough to understand what's going to be better or not. I haven't played this game very long. Let's just go. Oh, what's this? Escape to the world map? Not yet. We still have things to learn. Villagers to abuse. Uh, let's go through. Oh, look! It's the castle we were in. So, theoretically, there's a hole blown in somewhere. But, uh, you know, screw going through uh, holes. I'm just going to go through the front door. It's going to be cool like that. We're cool guys, and that's... It's a big old wall. The biggest old wall. Whee! Shooting down. Alright, here we go. Alright, with your new Oblivion Crystal, you can now start to lead the resistance against Demoni... Demonica? Demonica. Ah, uh, cool, cool. I should hope so. I've suffered enough for this stupid thing and the things they made me do. Punching kittens, my god! I know, your reputation throughout this world is pretty freaking bad right now. So you're going to have to let the rest of us do recruiting, I'm afraid. Yeah, so what am I going to do? Uh, you're immortal with that crystal. Go punch bad kittens. Uh, you can go on journeys, far too dangerous for the rest of us. Plus, we've entrusted the most valuable tool, the strategic overview, to you. The strategic overview will help guide you as giving you an idea of what is going on throughout the resistance. Uh, uh that's neat, because I have no idea what's going on. Alright, she's like, nah, it's cool, you'll understand what's going on, let's start. Uh, some people are wounded, let's build a clinic somewhere, and it won't make a difference, but we have to try. Uh, we also need to start producing food, because people hungry. Alright, so we've got some resistance dudes, we need to build ourselves a clinic, build ourselves a farm. Uh, can, can we start here? No, I guess not. Here? No. How about here? No. Oh, wait, we can order someone to move here. Or, or not? No. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Uh. Okay, let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, here we go. Potential clinic site. Here we go. So we've moved someone over to where we can make a clinic. And... They can't move anymore. Uh, is there someone here? Okay, we're gonna move someone else. Oh, they're wounded, so they can't move. Uh, how about this person? You should move over here. Make us a farm. And, uh... I'm gonna embark into this region, I guess. Alright, you can wander here if you want, but you might find a few or you might find a few mercenary coins and even treasure chests, but this region has already been purified, so it's not going to help you progress the game. It also doesn't have any perk tokens in it, like the caves, chateaus, pyramids, farmlands, and all that other stuff. It doesn't have any feats that you can steal in it, like Skelebot research facilities do, and it won't help you level up. Only level up windmills will do that. Your main work in this site is already done. Wanna proceed? No, not really. Okay, so I guess we find unpurified places, which I guess are places slightly less dark and cranky. Uh, like this office building. What happens here? Let's go ahead and embark into the region, see what happens. Magic time! An empty town. Nah, still plenty of pests crawling around. My guy sounds badass. Oh! So angry! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, I killed something. Innocence lost, you punch something. You bad fellow, you. Uh, most of these games, if it's anything like the original, takes place inside these sort of building room areas. Which is where fun stuff can be found for all. Oh, yeah, I killed something. Uh, here we'll find resources, items, yeah, bad guys. Oh, oh, that was really angry. Ow. God, that enemy spell blocked my spell. It must have been higher caliber than mine. Each of my spells has a different caliber, generally corresponding to the type of spell and or visible size of the shot. Uh, the same enemy spells, henchmen, and the overlord have very high caliber spells, but some, or, but otherwise they are mostly based on visible shot size. When two enemy spells would pass through one another, the spells of higher caliber block... Okay. So, I want to shoot the bigger things at the enemies that also shoot bigger things, or else it'll make things really angry. There's a lot more information if you read about it. Nah, I'm just gonna... Ow! I'm trying to shoot things. Hey, that worked. Uh, 
I have a feeling I don't want to fall inside that. Pull. Pull. Pulling some Mario stuff there. Alright. So that was largely not worth my time. Neat. Oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, they're homing thing missiles. Ooh, it's those guys again. And you know what? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Kill the angry guy. Oh, 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 it's not working. Oh, that's blocking too. Uh, I'll have my I'll have to target my shots carefully to see where the weak point is. Oh, fun, that is a weak point. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Use my that thing. Is it like right up ends? Do I have to like hit it in the No, no, no. Oh yep, yep, I gotta hit it right in its little bad thing blowhole. Oh there we go. Yay, we killed it. Okay, so this certainly got a lot more platform technical than the last game, which is just fine. It really needed it, in all honesty. Oh, it's counterattacking. Oh, oh, it's bad. Okay. So we've got 0.7 hearts left. We're gonna kill some easy stuff. Oh! Oh, we're almost dead. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. We're, we're at 0.7 again. Oh, we're at 0.3. This is all kinds of bad. I thought I was immortal. <laughs> Why am I getting my shit kicked in? Uh, hmm. All right. Oh. Can I kill that thing and get its delicious? Oh no, we died. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got an achievement. Welcome to the game. Did you stop getting killed already? You may be an immortal, but every time you die, some of our number think the world's about to end and morale drops. I'm immortal. They don't have to. Okay, so I basically did bad. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Next time, we're going to attempt to actually succeed in our uh, spelunking efforts. We might try to switch our magic around since I'm super bad at this. And uh, yeah, next time.